friends. Welcome to Lviv, Ukraine. Here in my nice hotel room where things are mostly fine, but uh, occasionally the air raid siren goes off telling people to go to the bomb shelter and to take cover. Um, so a lot of mixed signals here in Ukraine. One minute it feels safe, one minute it doesn't feel safe. My heart is racing and I'm all of a sudden very scared. Um, the first time I've heard it go off. I'm gonna head to the bomb shelter. Um, it's the first time it's went off during the daytime. It usually goes off at night. Let's see, let's take a look on the streets and see what other people are doing. It's funny, the people of Lviv have really grown accustomed to this. No one's running for shelter, no one's uh, freaking out except for me. I'm gonna try to go down and see, uh, ask the hotel what I should do. Dobre. Dobre. Uh, speak English? Just a little. The, uh, the siren going off? The, uh, Air raid? Like that one? Yes. Is it okay? It's okay. Uh, I don't know. Like, uh, uh, are you afraid? A uh, little. This, yes? Yeah, a little. Uh, we have uh, this garden in um, upstairs, down. Downstairs. Oh, like a bunker. Mm, like a bunker. safe place. No, stay in bunker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. No, if you want. But are you? Is this normal? Normal? The... Uh, normal. Uh, many people uh, don't want. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, if it's normal, then all right. No problem. Are you afraid? I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 All right. Jacko, thanks. All right, well, I guess I'll just do the Ukrainian thing and just go about my day. It does kind of fuck with you emotionally. Like one second it feels fine, one second an air raid alarm is going off. No one seems to really be bothered by it. So <sighs> welcome to Ukraine. All right, now we're gonna hit the streets and see how people feel about the air raid. This one is much, much, much closer than the other. Much louder. We're right next to a police station. I'm not sure uh, if that matters, if we're a target or... I don't know, but people are just, God damn, that's loud. People are just going about their day. Dobre den. Speak English? Fun here. Yeah? Does the, uh, how do you feel when the air raid siren goes off? Like the wah? Don't matter. Why not? I live near the uh, tank Fabrica in Lviv and uh, where I was the bomb blasted I was in home and there was wow. scary but now mm, don't matter so the the Russians bombed very close to your house mm, near 500 meters if there are the alert I try to get away mm -hmm. of the places where there's a lot of people, like center or bus stops, because it's dangerous. And Russia and Federation is the terrorist Nazi fascist state, 
and there are make the genocide of the Euro European Ukrainian peoples, and uh, yeah. the world must understand it. Do you want to to leave Ukraine? Do you no, want? No, 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 no. I work in Ukraine. I wait my time to go to the army. You're very brave. I think Thank most you. most people are scared. I think I'm I'm a little scared. I, mm -hmm. I hear the alarm and it is scary mm -hmm. to me. You must understand that uh, this war it not the first. Yeah. There was a war ten years ago. There was war seventeen years ago. In the last one century, Russian tries to destroy the Ukrainian nation, language, history. Russian are stupid. Russian are scary people. Little people, but they have many people. So you don't like Russians? No. <laughs> The Russian people, I have no opinion that there are the good Russians because there are no good Russians. Well, it's a little later in the day now, and yet another air raid siren is going off. Behind us is a um, monument that's been obviously protected from uh, destruction. Right in the center of town. People going about their lives, eating at cafes, chilling, man, chilling. Babies in strollers. People are unfazed, dude. Honestly, man, I've only been in Lviv for like six, seven days, something like that, and um, it's already starting to wear on me. Like the kind of fatigue of, I don't know, like the the air raid siren and just just knowing that. Any second, things could change here. And I want to stress, it's only been six, seven days. These people live here all the time. Are you, um, Ukrainian from Lviv. Yes, yes. Oh wow. Sixty-six years old. Wow. I listen to heavy metal. Heavy metal. Forever. Nice. How do you feel when the um the siren, the air raid siren goes off? It's difficult, difficult. Six months yeah. life with this. Yeah, it's scary. Difficult, difficult. Scary for me, but for you, very scary, no? Yeah. Thank you very much. Of course, thank you. Slavo Best wishes, here. good luck. Thanks very much. All right, cheers. Bye bye, thanks. Wow, that's another thing. Um, people here love Americans. They love Americans. I tell them I'm from the USA, they get wide eyed. I mean, that guy, you saw, I put my hand on his heart. He was about to cry, I think. They love us, dude. Just all the weapons and money we've been giving to them. So I'm not, I'm not here to tell you to travel to Ukraine. I'm not going to do that. But um, if you do, you'll, you'll see for yourself, like people love Westerners. They hate communism. They hate Russia. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, um, you know, they've definitely chosen a side, obviously. There's not really any fine lines when it comes to this issue. Um, and I found that in Czechia, you know, in Slovakia, in Poland too. People hate Russia, dude. They love the West. They love capitalism. They hate communism. It's just really funny because in the USA, I think there's like this fascination with with communism now. People are flirting with the idea of being communist. And you know, you come to these countries where it actually happened. You know, Russia, all the famines they put these people through, the genocide, the concentration camps. And they'll tell you they fucking hate it. They hate communism. They hate Russia. I love the West, so. It's palpable, man. Like, I feel that guy's energy right now. Like, he loved America. He grabbed my hand, he put it on his heart. Yeah, powerful, powerful stuff. Seeing history unfold right here in Lviv. You from Lviv? Yeah. Oh, nice. How is life here? Mm, not bad. <laughs> yeah, I think life is normal for me and then sometimes the 
Oh. Oh. Right there. Wow, you can't script that. Right when I mentioned the siren, it went off. To be fair, it's been going off all day. Um, it's a little nerve wracking knowing that we're directly in the center of town. Right in the center, tons of people. Probably should not be here, but here we are. Dang, man. And look at all these kids here, just enjoying life, man. Meanwhile, there's an air raid siren going off. It's crazy, dude. I wonder what it's like to be a kid living here under these conditions. I mean, I'm scared. I'm a 28 year old man. I'm scared. These are children. Just enjoying life. For now, I mean, who knows what's going through their minds, man. Jesus. How is it? How is it living here? Good. Life is good. Who are you? My name's Connor. I'm from the USA. USA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so life is okay. You're not. You're not scared about. A little bit. The war is very bad, but uh, we must live. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sorry. I think people in Lviv like live regular lives. Like even yes. now with the siren, people are just. Yeah, it's amazing actually. So. Slava Ukraine. All right, ciao. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wow, inspirational kids, man. Inspirational people here in Ukraine. People are really just doing their thing, man. They're just having fun on a Saturday. They don't give a fuck, man. Wow, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Those those sirens are really fucking with me earlier. And then I meet these kids, and they're just doing their thing, man. Like unfazed it's it's insane i mean i'm sure there's like psychological stuff developmentally you know that's going to affect them certainly but for now they're just kicking it dude well guys that's gonna be it today from Lviv, ukraine another day in the ukraine another story to tell this time it's of a grown man being afraid of an air siren and children and pretty much everybody else just going about their day. It really is inspiring to see these people just truck through, man. Like, all these women here, they could just leave. Uh, no, thanks, thanks. They could just leave. They don't have to be here. The men, on the other hand, do. But people are just persistent on maintaining a normal life for as long as possible. Which is really admirable, dude. Like, if I was in the same situation, if I had the existential threat of my country maybe not existing, my home, everything being destroyed, I don't know what I would do. I really cannot even imagine. I'd like to think I would stay, like these these brave people here. But I I hope I don't ever have to answer that question myself. Let's take one last look at the Ukrainian people. Wow. If anything from this trip, I've gained a ton of respect for all these people, man. Like, some of the most warm, loving, generous, amazing people I've ever met in all the countries I've been to. Even though they're going through some shit, like, people could easily be selfish, people could easily, you know, reject foreigners, and, you know what I mean? Like, it's a wartime, shit's crazy, but, or it should be, right? But it's really not. People are just living their lives, man, so. Much respect to the Ukrainian people. All right, guys. See you somewhere else some other time. Thanks for coming along. And hey, if you like this video, if you, if you appreciate what I'm doing, if you want to support me and keep me on the road for longer, we're trying to get all the way to Japan, guys. Please consider becoming a patron or donating to me on PayPal. Anything helps. Like I said, I'm trying to get across two continents and we are just getting started, so. If you got the money, if you have the means, if you have the means, please consider becoming a patron and supporting your boy. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.